All right. We have here the AutoCAD user interface. Don't worry if you don't have AutoCAD, you can use any computer aided design software for this matter as long as it can save the file into a dot dxf or drawing exchange file format okay so that any you can use any cad software as long as you can save your model or your file into a dot dxf extension file extension okay so if you're using kgen 2014 or any CAD software you can use that one okay so we'll now draw our model we'll be just using one command which is the line command so no no complicated commands used here just the line command and the manipulation of the views in AutoCAD okay so you cannot use polyline you can only use the line command okay so we'll be drawing a two-story model using lines let's say we have here a five by six five meters by six meters floor area okay so we'll draw now draw line okay let's say it's here it's five and six but in our case we'll just use three first three then another three then five then three and three okay then close then another line this will be the beam at the middle okay all right so that's our beam orientation okay so we'll now change the view to southwest so view 3d views let's say southwest isometric okay so that will be our beam so we need in the first floor so we need to add the column from the ground so let's draw another line this represents the column usually the column is around three meters so let's check now let's put three as our column and just copy it this so you have six columns right so that's for the first floor these beams are for the first floor so we need to add another level for the second floor or for the roof roof beams okay so just copy this one copy then find a pivot point click it here so basically we have here so we have here our model okay so this will be the ground floor this will be the first floor and this will be your roof beams okay then we have the columns okay again make sure these are all made of lines okay then after the one please take note that your z is going up positive z is going up in our model and there you go you save it into dxf file extension so save us then choose in the files of type dxf so we have here just check or choose the lowest 
version of DXF. So this is the lowest version of DXF in the choices. So here, check that one and uh, save it in our location. H start tutorial 2015. Then this will be named let's say model frame. Okay, that DXF. Okay, save it. Then they're saving. That's it. Say goodbye to AutoCAD for now. Then let's go back and import it on Stud. All right. We now import it on this software application. So we go to File, click Import. Just click yes here. All right, so you have the dialog box for the import options. Okay, so we have 3D DXF. That's it. That's our file format, 3D DXF. So import, click import. Then you find that file. We save it in Edge, start tutorial, then model frame. So open. So there is this structure convention. If you notice, our Y ear is going up. So we also use the Y up com com convention. Then the length used in your drawing. When we say five, when we draw in AutoCAD, five there means five meters. So you use the meter units then and of course the force units which is killing you then okay so then press the ok button and you will have your model inserted or imported instead that's so easy to use so easy to make compared to using the geometry tabs here using beams and grids and so on that's why I want you to learn that process rather than drawing in stud okay so when you click geometry the node numbers here the beam numbers are already populated because stud will automatically read what you have imported in the model window okay so we have here our model if you wanna rotate if you wanna rotate the model you can use the arrow up arrow down arrow left and arrow right on your keyboard let's say I'll be using arrow, arrow right okay so that is if you wanna rotate it arrow left arrow up arrow down okay you can use your arrow keys in the keyboard to manipulate the views of your model okay also you can use this toolbar here this toolbar here you can also use that one this is the front view click that one this is the front view of your model the back view the same the side view another side view the left and the right okay then the top view, the bottom view, and the isometric view. Then this one is the rotate up, rotate down. Again, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard, which is much more easier compared to clicking these buttons. Okay. So no need for these options here. No need for geometry because we already imported our model in start so we'll skip geometry now we'll go to the next tab which is general